All right. Hey guys, welcome to our, um, I almost said dream team, but that's not what this is, to our Sunday night power planning session. It is December 20th. Holy macaroni. Um, it's Christmas week. We're going to talk a lot about what we need to do because you don't have people's attention very much this week. So we need to make sure we take advantage of what we do have. So the first thing we're going to do though, is what we always do. We're going to do our rate of run. So you're going to log into your cloud with it being the 20th. The number that we come up with tonight is going to be pretty darn accurate as to what you'll be ending the month with. Um, but for those of you that don't know what or how to do this, you're going to log into your cloud and then right there from that very main page, your home page, you're going to scroll down until you see it's after the trip tracker right now. It says my business dashboard and there's a little box that says business snapshot. You'll click that so it opens. You are going to find a, um, not a column, I guess, yeah, a column, a row that says current QV. So you're gonna take that dollar amount that you see there, that's the dollar amount that you and your team have done so far this month. You're gonna take that dollar amount, you're gonna divide it by 20, because it's the 20th of the month. And then you are going to take that new dollar amount and multiply it by 31 for the actual full days of the month. And the number you're looking at now is where you're estimated to finish December with. So, that number, like I said, since we're already 20 days in, is pretty darn accurate, but that doesn't mean it has to be the final number. If it's not where you want to be, if it's not close to your goal for the month, the month is not over. Like you still have time to work for this. Um, if it's above and beyond what you thought you could do, then freaking congratulations and you need to up your goal next month for sure. Um, but I just like to do rate of run. I think it's super important to know where you are in your business. Um, it's just, like this is a business and business is about numbers and this particular number is about your volume. So if you are shooting for 12K, if you're shooting for a rank in general, if you're um, still working for your Cabo trip, all that is so important to know. It's a rate of run can really kind of tell you where you're at and where you're going. Um, so speaking of really quickly, uh, volume and things, before we get to like dive into the week, please know you have four days left to finish your double, triple, um, commissions and the $25 in free credits for new accounts. That is such a gift. Like it was just such a gift that they threw that at us. So Lavelle does a really great job of saying things like, Hey, we're going to take you on a trip. Here's your qualifications. And Oh, Hey, here's a promo. So for those of you that haven't yet finished, this promo actually lines up with your qualifications to help you get there. So it's a super, super big gift. And for those of you that are like brand new and you don't even know about a trip or you're not even sure what the hell you're doing, that's okay. Double, triple is really awesome too. Um, I know I have several videos dedicated just to double, triple and on my YouTube page. And I know your upline probably has a couple too. So if you don't know what we're talking about and you're like, oh, we only have four days, four days is more than enough to hit double, triple. Um, and when I say double, triple, just cause that's what it's called. Go for a triple, don't stop at double. Like we'll be super proud of you if you end a double, but don't try for double, try for triple. Um, it's a great way to build your business. It's a great, great, great way to build your business. And remember, we've talked about this for the last couple of weeks, how you end 2020 will have a huge effect on how you kick off 2021. So now is not the time to check out. I know it's Christmas week, I know, but now is not the time to check out. Um, there's something else that I was like, I need to make sure I say that. Oh, real quick. So on Christmas, the 25th, that should be an auto ship day. My guess is they're going to run early. I don't like guessing. And I didn't know the last time I forget what holiday or what day or whatever it was, but I didn't know. So I actually went in and I set up an auto ship for myself this afternoon. That's going to run on the 25th because if an email goes out telling people they're going to run early, I want that email. And I want that in my hands. So I would just tell you to expect that your auto ship people for the 25th, I, I would say expect it to run, let's just play it safe and say it's gonna run on Wednesday the 23rd. I don't know. Um, so I would say don't, don't dilly dally, don't be like, oh, I've got four or five days to talk to people. I would be talking to people tonight and tomorrow and make sure if they are showing up in your cloud office as an auto ship for the 25th that you are contacting them. And so again, very quickly for anybody that's new, how do you know if someone's gonna have has have have a have? <laughs> how do you know if somebody has an auto ship on the 25th? You go into your cloud office, you go into the menu, you want to get all the, the options. Now you're gonna hit the my team button. From there, you're gonna click the my customers at the very top where it says customer number, customer name, blah, blah, blah. 
you're going to scroll all the way to the right and it says next auto ship the box that says next auto ship actually click on that twice and it will populate for you by date and it's going to show you who is supposed to have an auto ship on december 25th i think that those people are probably going to be getting their auto ship a few days early because of the holiday so make sure you reach out and i'm going to say this probably a million times tonight it's christmas week people are buying presents some people might be spending more money than they have please don't hit them up the side of the head with an auto ship that they forgot about okay make sure you do your due diligence i'm also not able to speak tonight for some reason <laughs> make sure you do your job as a promoter and give them customer service Find who's in your back office that needs to be contacted and make sure they know. And you guys, I just tell them, hey, I see you're on my list. You're eligible for your auto ship on the 25th. Right now it's showing that you want X, Y, Z. And then based on any conversations that we've been having, and I will actually have conversations with them on purpose prior to this, you know, you've been super stressed out with a holiday. Maybe it's time we switch up your DFT to a uh, black label or you're really struggling to sleep. Maybe it's time we add rest gel to your order, whatever. I don't know what's going on in your customer's lives, but you should. So based on that, now is the time to do that. And then I would also say to them, I have a sneaking suspicion that they're gonna run auto ships early. I don't have an exact date yet, but they will let us know. And they will. Anyone who has an auto ship schedule for the 25th, they will get an email if it's gonna come early. The problem the last time was I didn't have one scheduled, so I didn't get the email and I had no idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen again. So anyway. Um, that's kind of my precursor to it's Christmas week, right? It's Christmas week. So make sure that you have contacted your auto ships. Um, do not give up on double, triple. And real fast, for those of you that are kind of new and you're like, I don't know enough people or I don't even understand or I don't have enough people to do this. When you log into your cloud office as a promoter and you click the My Team button and then you from there you go to Sponsorship, the first set of names that pops up for you, that those are your level ones. Those are the people who, if you sell the promoter packs to, their, their orders count towards your qualifications. Not your level two, three, fours, it's your level ones. And then your customer list, any customer who wants to click the promoter button and place a promoter pack order, they that order would also count because they would automatically become your level one. So keep that in mind if you're like, I don't know who this, you know, who I would even offer this to. Just go to the My Team button, go to the sponsorship line, the very first group of names that pops up for you. Some of you will have one page worth, some of you will have, I don't know, 10 pages worth, but it's the first group of people, that's who you can sell promoter packs to, to get the qualifications for, for the double, triple promo. Um, and like I said, it does still continue for the $25. So what they're doing is they're putting $25 in free credits on brand new accounts. So that's not an order that's just creating a new account so you've been talking to someone they've asked you about thrive or you've asked them about it if they've tried it when you set up their email and you they create a username for the first time that's when they get the 25 dollars. so it's not that they have to place the order today but to get the 25 dollars, they have to create their account before the uh what 11 59 on the 24th um so make sure you're really talking to people about that now Okay, so I'm looking at my calendar in front of me in case you're like, why is she looking to the left? So we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday is Christmas Eve. Friday is Christmas. Saturday is the day after. Those three days, the 24th, 25th, and 26th, on social media will not, no matter what you try to do, it will not be about you and your business. It just won't. <laughs> it's gonna be about grandma, Bobby's little new toy, some fabulous dessert that it's going to be about everything except your business. So you have to make a, a, a direct effort this moment on through Wednesday to front load your social media about your business. Now, that does not mean that you need to be making advertisement type posts nonstop. What it means is that as all the Christmas stuff starts to flood Facebook and Instagram, if you want some of your things to be mixed into people's newsfeed, it already has to be existing. It already has to have comments happening on it. It has to have likes happening on it. So what I want you to think about is a strategy for the next few days. And when I think, when I try to think like, what am I going to post about? My first thing, and this is a question I will post to you, and you can kind of put it in the chat if you want. 
what are things that stress you out this time of year? You and your life personally, it's, it's five days till Christmas. What is stressing you out? And yes, we're thrivers, but it doesn't mean we don't get stressed out. We just deal with it different. So the first question is what stresses you out? Think about that. Some of you might have children that you're going to have a whole other round of stress. Some of you might have businesses. You're going to have a whole other realm of stress. Some of you might have a family coming in from out of town. You're going to have different stress. But so think about what stresses you out because I can guarantee if it's stressing you out, it's stressing out your friends and family, AKA your social media following. <laughs> now, how do you deal with it? What could you offer someone that is dealing with this stressful situation? How could you help that person? Right? That's the connection we want to make with people over the next few days. Lisa says, trying to get all the things done, cooking, grocery, and cleaning. Yes. How do you do that, Lisa? How do you get it all done? I know you're a thriver, right? But how do you get that all done? So you could go, um, I mean, like the temptation is going to be like, oh, I take my three steps and that's how I do it all. Okay. Sally positive. Nobody wants to hear that this week. <laughs> like I'm just being honest. Nobody wants to hear that this week, right? They want you to say something like, I don't know, talk about making lists, talk about how you set up an Instacart account for the first time and you're getting groceries delivered because you don't have time to get everywhere. Talk about how you are uh, maybe wrapping presents, uh, to, like how you're, I don't know, an assembly line for presents or how you invited your best girlfriend over and you're helping each other. Like, what are you doing to literally fix these challenges? And then obviously, yes, you're gonna be throwing in Thrive posts. Maybe let's say, let's go to the example of you and your best girlfriend wearing your masks, wrapping paper uh, presents together, clearly your DFT is going to show, right? Like you're going to throw that in there. But again, you're going to offer real life solutions to real life things that are stressing you out. So time chunks, yes, Susan could talk about time chunks all day long to help people handle all the things that have to be done. Um, Olivia, I'm about to have a house full of kids over the next three days. Oh God, girl, we're going to be making ornaments and cookies. Yes, it's going to be crazy, but it's, it'll be crazy at Olivia's house, which you guys all know that means they're all going to be smiling and laughing and you're just, the mo you're just the most fun. Um, Susan says, do all your Thrive stuff in the morning so it is work, so it's working while you're out shopping and cooking. Yes, exactly. Front load, front load your day, front load your week. You just have got to make sure you have good quality posts happening early in the week. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't just skip past that. Good quality posts early in the week. You want to be making posts that people are commenting on, answering questions on, because you need those posts to have um, like some teeth, right? They really like Facebook has to be like, hey, there's something going on here. These people are talking to this person about this. And then strategically, like let's say you post something on Monday, you get some answers, you or, or people are asking you questions. Wait until Tuesday to respond to that so that it gets even more grip. And then on Tuesday, when you're posting something, you're going to respond to those things on Wednesday, like actually build up the post. So it keeps regenerating in the feed, because again, come Thursday and Friday, when it's all about presents and, you know, the new, whatever Christmas is going to look like for a lot of people, that way your posts are still going to be happening. So you're going to have probably a couple of really good ones and a couple of duds, and that's okay. That's just how it works. You never truly know, but don't stop posting. Make sure you're doing a lot tonight, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like really start doing it and talk to people about what they want to talk about. At, not everyone, because not everyone celebrates Christmas. I get that. So that's a, a bad statement, but the majority of people who are on your Facebook feed are trying to get all the things done. They are trying to figure out their new holiday traditions. They're trying to um, reach out to people and connect with people in a different way than they've ever done before. There are a lot of people who aren't going to get to be with family this, this time of year. They're going to be doing Zooms and things like that. I mean, heck, somebody could throw out like Zoom tips. Like, hey, teach your grandma how to, <laughs> teach your grandma how to Zoom, like whatever, you know. Olivia, I have to get up early this week, work my business and plan my posts. There's no way I'll be able to, yeah, exactly. Get up and get it done before those kids get there. Um, oh, and so that's an awesome, that's another, like, that's something you can talk to people about, Olivia. She's paying cash for Christmas this year. Like, that's a big thing. That's something that people can't do or they've never even thought they could do. So that is something that Olivia could easily make a post about and just talk about how it's so much uh, more relaxing, how different it is to pay cash at Christmas. So again, think of what you struggle with or what you used to struggle with. 
how you've handled it and what you would like. I just, I just don't want you to take every problem that a person has and be like, oh, but I take my thrive. So it fixes it because you and I get that, but that doesn't make sense to anyone else. So talk about how you really could like get a conversation with someone started, because here's the thing, you guys, if someone is willing to start talking to you about like, I don't know, a tip that you gave on how to, um, I don't know, get everything done in the morning or a tip on how you, you know, how you were putting money back all year so you could pay cash for Christmas. If they're going to have that conversation, you can pull that off of Facebook and put it into messenger or text. That's when the magic happens, but you can't get them there. You can't get them into messenger. If you're just flitting around like, oh yeah, my whole life is perfect because I thrive. My life is perfect because I thrive. <laughs> like that, that's not enough to get someone excited. So why is it perfect because I thrive? What is it that you're doing? Um, Okay, so front loading your social media and you guys, and I think I said this last week or the week before, your birthday reach outs the whole month of December, but for sure from here on out, these are December babies, which means they don't get as much lovin's because why Sonia? Because Christmas gets in, <laughs> gets in the way. Sonia is a Christmas Eve baby. She can tell you your birthday gets a little bit shoop, right past, right? So make sure you are doing a big to do. Like take your normal birthday reach out and jazz it up just a little bit more and make sure people know you are recognizing their birthday because they are used to getting skipped over. Um, but it's just, it's a big, it's a big month for people to be born, but it's also a big month for people to get to, you know, I mean, Jesus's birthday obviously takes precedence over most of these people. So um, does anybody have any questions so far? Does this make sense? When I talk like, so when I say front load your social media and how basically from the 24th on, it's going to be a little choppy. That doesn't mean stop posting on the 24th, 25th, 26th, but just know that what you're posting on those days, there's just such an influx uh, that it's just not going to be, you're just not going to get as much um, uh, play time. Sonny says, I always post a gift birthday with a wish to them. Yes, that's cute. I think gifts are funny. Um, okay. So we just have a lot to, <laughs> we have a lot to do. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, and again, this goes back to how you end the year is how you're going to start the year. Don't stop working your business. I know it's going to be busy. I get it. And I mean, God love Olivia. She's got a, how many children coming over to make cookies. It would be really easy for her to be like, you know what? I'm super busy. I'm going to take care of these babies and I'm going to pick back up my business next Monday. Don't do that to yourself. Every day you close for business, you lose a week of traction. So even if on 24th, 25th, and 26th, you are struggling to even find time to make a post, make a post, just do it. Just run to the bathroom, pull up the Lavelle fan page, find it a story, share it. If you're, if you really got two seconds, you can copy and paste it and make it your own, right? But definitely make sure you take time to keep in the present. Stories, um, again, they're going to be flooded. People are going to be very busy, but even if you just get one or two pictures on your story or a quick video on your story every single day, if it's not the normal amount that you usually have, that's okay because people who normally are watching stories may not be getting to watch them as often either. The, the real issue is staying consistent and staying out there because you guys all know the rush will happen and then it will fade. And so if you fade away while that's happening, people will forget. And it's so crazy. And I know it sounds weird to say, but people forget super fast what you do for a living or what you care about because they move on to other things. Um, Kristen says, I'm going to talk about spending Christmas without my babies because they are with their dad. Oh, there's a lot of people that could have that conversation with you. I think that's going to pull on a lot of hearts um, and cooking for two instead of four with my air fryer. Yes. Throw those air fryer recipes out. Um, Olivia says at the very least share stories from the fan. Yes. At the very least, you guys, I mean, there are, there are going to be days in your life where you, maybe something horrible is happening. I don't know. It's, we've all had something horrible this year. I feel like bare minimum copy paste or click share. Like you, you don't, is it the best post ever? If you just click share? No, but is it better than nothing? Yes. It's always better than nothing. Part of me thinks that's just because you're, you know, obviously so putting it out there, but the other part is you're, you're letting yourself as well as the world know that you are still in business. Chips are down, but you're still in business. And that makes a really, really big difference. Um, I actually had a person appro approach me, whatever, message me on 
Facebook last night and he's young, he's a realtor. And he, so he's just, he's, he's just getting his feet wet with like social media marketing. And he just gave me the nicest compliment about how he said something about the way I market my business on Facebook, like no apologies about what I do, I guess is how he kind of said it. That's inspired him. And I was like, dude, go all in. The only person who's going to go all in for your business is you. And I'm saying the same thing to you guys. The only person who is going to make a big whoop-de-doo about your business is you. There's plenty of people out there going to talk about other businesses, but you are the one who has to go all in for yourself and for your business. And I think that the more you just take that no apologies about what, I mean, why on earth? I, I would never have, like, if a nurse was like, I'm a nurse, no one's going to make, you know, put her down. Oh, don't be talking about being a nurse on Facebook. Like, it's what she does. It's what she's passionate about, right? So this is what you do. This is what you're passionate about. So just make sure you are connecting it on a level that people will relate to versus the, oh, I'm a thriver and I'm perfect kind of thing that we all tend to fall into every now and then. Um, especially during the holidays, people are struggling during the holidays, some for money, some for uh, companionship. Uh, there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot in the holidays anyway, and then add to it 2020, be relatable so that people will actually feel like they can talk to you. Um, I'm not really sure where I was going with that. I just kind of got off a little tangent, <laughs> but anyway, so make sure you're doing all your social media, make sure you're doing your birthday reach outs. Um, don't lose sight of the basics. I think sometimes when a holiday comes up like this, we get really like, oh, I'm going to do a promo or I'm going to do a Christmas sale or I'm going to do an after Christmas sale. And that's all good and golden, but you've got to stick with your, like for a lot of you, it's the five, four, three, two, one. You've got to stick. you got to do your reach outs. You got to start conversations. You got to follow up with people. You for sure need to be on top of your auto ships right now. You for sure need to be on top of anybody that's talked to you as far as like whatever double, triple promo you are running. You've got to stay on top of that. Don't just wait for the holiday or don't just wait for the day after the holiday. Um, I will tell you that I think it's obviously important. Clearly, it's it, clearly there's a bonus right now to be making new customer accounts and new promoter accounts because of the $25. But regardless of that, like let's pretend that wasn't even a thing that was out there. Remember how you end the year is how you start the next year. If you are signing people up just for information, you're not selling them a damn thing, but you are signing them up, you're getting them in your network, you're getting them in the, the cloud basically. And you go, and like, if you were just to keep that your focus from here through the end of the year, come January one, the right people are all gonna be there in the cloud office to be getting the emails, to be on your follow-up list. Um, speaking of January 1, we know Ultimate Thriver is coming. So if you aren't talking to people about that, again, now is the time. Um, yes, people are distracted. Yes, people are eating Christmas cookies. And the last thing they're really thinking about is January 1, getting it together. Or are they? I think a lot of people are thinking about that already, but they're going to eat the cookie anyway. So go ahead and talk to people. Um, I have just been very general. And I don't know, some of you may have like better ideas and thoughts. And if you do, unmute yourself or start typing in the chat. But I'm just throwing out things every now and then about how, you know, starting January 1, we've got 12, 12 weeks with like, it's coming up, like it's just like little things like that. And I've had people say, well, what's it about? What are you doing? How, how does this work? I don't really have a ton of information to share with them just yet, but I've at least got a list of names of people who want to, you know, they are like, go keep me up to date when you get all the details kind of a thing. Um, again, that's a, that's a pain that people have the pain of putting on the holiday, whatever the weight, the maybe drinking too much, eating too much just the holidays are too much in general. Um, and that's something that you can offer them help with. So again, try to find what people are struggling with. It's like, it's a pain point. Like everybody wants help with their pain points. So you have to think, what are people struggling with and how can you help them? Because I've said this from, for a long time, we sell a solution to people's problems. That's all we do. We have a solution to their problems. However, we can't help them if we don't know what their problems are. So don't make assumptions. Don't, um, don't make promises either, like ask questions, like find out from people what they're really struggling with so that we can help them. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything over here. I had to move my camera so now I have to look back and forth, back and forth. Okay, all right, I don't see any questions. No one's like unmuted. Does everyone feel ready for Christmas week? It's gonna be a big week, a big week. I, if I were you, what I, what, well, if I were you, what I have done is I have, I have uh, reminders and I know Lacey does this all the time anyway. So hopefully I did it this week because it's a holiday week. Um, maybe I, I hope it works so well that I just continue to do it. 
but I have reminders set for three different times on my phone every single day. So I don't forget to make a post. I also have some posts saved from years ago from other people, um, things that I, I myself have thought of, like saved them in my notes section um, so that I'm ready to make those posts. And it's gonna be pretty heavy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and then I'm gonna keep it up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but I bet you won't see them all. <laughs> I bet Facebook won't show them all to you. <laughs> it just can't. Um, so think about that. What do you wanna to talk to people? What is it that you have in your back pocket that you can talk to people about on a relatable level? Maybe it's being a single mom. Maybe it's being, um, I don't know, the holidays, like the first time you're not traveling for the holidays. Maybe it's that you've got a million kids coming over. Maybe it's that you are still wrapping presents, whatever. And start talking about that and get conversations started. So that's all I have. You guys got anything? Anybody need anything? We good? Okay, I'm going to have this up on the YouTube here in just a few minutes. You can share it with your team if you want. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. So for those of you that I won't see, Merry Christmas. I'll see you next week. Bye.